Have you ever felt like preparing for the USMLE Step 1 is like navigating through an endless black and white spiral, where every turn leaves you more confused and unsure of your next step? Well, fear not, because we're about to embark on an interstellar journey. A journey where you'll discover the ultimate study resources orbiting around you like planets in a galaxy, and with the right tools, you'll be ready to conquer the USMLE universe. So buckle up, because we're about to explore the top resources that will help you chart your course to success. Now let's face it, every Step 1 student has three burning questions as they stare at their resources. Will I actually remember all this information? Because let's be real, my brain is starting to feel like a sponge full of holes. Is this study tool really going to work? Or is it just another cosmic black hole sucking up my time? And of course, the most important one. Is this even high yield? Ever feel like your brain's overloaded? Here's the secret. Compress it into one clean file, like zipping up chaos into a single folder. That book with open arms. When in doubt, it's your go-to. Now let's break down what makes a resource truly stellar. When selecting your resources, consider cost, content, time to cover, high yieldedness, and of course, when and how to study, along with accessibility and learning style. It's all about what fits your needs best. With all these factors in mind, let's take a closer look at how each resource stacks up and how they fit into your study journey. Starting with the question banks. First up in our cosmic lineup is UWorld known as the galaxy's most trusted question bank. It's a bit of an investment, but it's worth every penny for a solid prep experience. Over 3,000 high yield questions plus detailed explanations that turn mistakes into learning opportunities. This is accompanied by self-assessments with four blocks each. UWorld's questions follow a standard NBME template, clinical scenario along with images, if any, multiple choice options, and detailed explanations. It's designed to help you learn the reasoning behind each answer. You can highlight key points or even flag a question to follow up on concepts later. Also, don't forget to jot down the supplemental high yield points on your first aid. Questions are organized by subject and system, so you can target specific areas. Use timed mode for real exam practice or tutor mode for immediate feedback to help you learn. Expect to spend about two to three months if you're going deep into each question, but you can adjust based on your schedule. You will ranks ultra high on the scale of high yield resources with questions that closely mirror what you'll see on the exam day. It's your one-stop shop for realistic practice. Best start with it online since offline versions are outdated and won't let you keep track of your progress percentage. You can access it anywhere online or via their mobile app. It's perfect for hands-on learning through practice and active recall. Tackle the questions one by one, read through each explanation, and try to make notes or flashcards in your world of the tables and algorithms. For a shorter timeline, do timed random mixed blocks and for a longer one, begin tutored system-wise or subject-wise, then switch to random timed by the end. Next, let's tackle the big questions. Amboss and USMLE Rx. These two resources often come up when students are looking for alternatives or supplements to UWorld. Let's break it down. Amboss, its subscription is moderately priced with over 2700 questions. It may take up to two months to cover in full, but study selectively to save time as UWorld is a must to cover and relatively higher yield. Study alongside the topics you feel need more in-depth review. It is known for its vast online library and is a good practice tool, but questions are more challenging than the real deal. I would recommend going over the MCQs for the topics mentioned on the right because that's what I did and it helped me approach such questions in a better way. Now as for USMLE Rx, it's affordable with multiple subscription tiers depending on your needs, containing thousands of high yield questions integrated with first aid for step 1. Typically it requires around 2 months to cover it as it is directly aligned with first aid, making it a great companion resource. Best use it in your first pass of first aid. It is available online and through mobile app. It reinforces concepts and allows you to actively engage with the material in first aid through practice questions. All right, enough of the screens. Let's flip the page and talk about the books that'll have you turning knowledge into gold. Now let's talk about the Bible of Step 1 Prep, First Aid. If there's one book you'll have under your arm throughout this journey, it's this one. Pro tip, make sure you grab the latest edition and consider separating it into sections to lighten the load. High yield general principles in one and systems in another. Now you've got a manageable review book. 
Even though it's 800 pages, it's divided into two sections, 10 chapters on systems and 6 on hygiene general principles, bringing the total to 653 pages, divided as shown. It takes at least two months for your initial review of first aid, but as you approach the finish line, make sure to skim through it rapidly in the last 15 days to reinforce key concepts. Use it as your ultra high yield resource to consolidate your basics, but don't forget to supplement with videos and question banks if you haven't built your foundation yet. This top tool is available in PDF format as well and many students find it super convenient for on-the-go studying. Two key things to remember. You want to understand the concepts deeply and recall them quickly during the exam. Videos help with understanding, while question banks, flashcards, and study partners boost recall. All in all, First Aid is a reliable resource that covers all the essentials for Step 1 preparation. Next up. Let's dive into Pathoma, your go-to guide for mastering pathology and the perfect companion for first aid. This 200-page book comes with videos as well and divides into 19 chapters of general and systemic pathology. 30 days are enough to cover as you go over first aid. It is an ultra high yield resource and I would recommend memorizing it during medical school for a more efficient exam prep experience. Video lectures are worth a listen and try going over key pathologies frequently tested in the NBMEs if you are sticking to first aid solely for pathology. Here are some supplemental resources you'd want to consider. Mehlman's PDFs are a great resource for neuroanatomy and immunology, tackling some of the trickiest subjects with clarity. Under Cases of Medical Ethics is a book by Dr. Conrad Fisher that is perfect for giving you a heads up on the ethical dilemmas you may face, helping you build a strong foundation in medical ethics. As for med school books, I personally referred back to them occasionally for anatomy, physiology, and pharmacology. Now let's shift gears and talk about videos, your visual aids for reinforcing complex concepts and bringing them to life. First up in the video, lineup Boards and Beyond, a fantastic resource for in-depth explanations helping you break down even the toughest concepts with clarity. Boards and Beyond offers a subscription with access to over 400 videos. You'll need about one to two months to cover everything. It aligns perfectly with First Aid making it an ultra high yield resource. Begin covering the videos with First Aid. Plus it comes with PDFs to reinforce your learning. You can quickly skim through the relevant sections of first aid before watching the videos or vice versa. Overall, I consider it a reliable tool, especially if you have an average or good understanding of basics as it dives straight into complex concepts. Kaplan is a moderate yield resource great for medical school studying. However, don't rely on it for last minute prep. And if you're on a shorter plan, feel free to skip it. A lot of you ask about Bootcamp. It's moderately priced and aligns well with the first aid material. It's a solid resource if you have a weak foundation and need a detailed overview. If you haven't started with Boards and Beyond yet, you can switch to Bootcamp following the short videos by various tutors alongside first aid, then tackling the questions. Many students found it helpful during med school too. As for high yield content, yes, it's definitely high yield, though sometimes it includes a bit of fluff. If you've already started with B&B, stick to that and focus on revision. Ultimately, it's all about understanding and retaining the concepts. Choose the resource that aligns well with your learning style and gives you a solid foundation. Just like how the wand chooses the wizard, you'll know when you've found the resource that's right for you. Now, Sketchy is top tier for microbiology and pharmacology. With over 100 micro videos, totaling about 14 hours, you can finish it in as little as two weeks, especially if you watch at two speed. Spread these ultra high yield videos throughout your study schedule to maximize your visual learning abilities and keep a PDF handy. The cartoons are not just fun and quick, they are a fantastic way to cement those concepts in your mind. For pharma, I would suggest going over the antimicrobials at the very least. Next up, if you happen to stumble upon Dirty Medicine Osmosis or Dr. Najib Lectures on YouTube, they are great supplementary resources for reinforcing concepts. I've already covered Pathoma. While the lectures can definitely be helpful, they're not absolutely necessary. Randy Neal's Biostats, Ethics and Genetics are absolute musts, especially if you want to truly ingrain those concepts for step one. Flashcards, your secret weapon for active recall. Let's see which ones pack the most punch. Anki is a favorite among top scorers, but honestly, only dive in if you've got extra time. High yield decks like Anking, Zonki, Lightyear, 
or Brosencephalon are solid, or you can always create your own. You can also create your own UWorld flashcards, categorizing them by systems for quick review later. And the best part? You can import these decks into your Step 2 or Step 3 prep. Let's quickly go over some High Shield podcasts. Perfect for turning your downtime into productive study time. Divine Intervention podcasts are free and High Shield, especially for ethics and the healthcare system. While many episodes are geared towards Step 2 CK, you can still listen to them for free online and take your own notes for a quick review later. They offer useful information that could definitely come in handy during your exam. Let's talk about assessments. Because testing yourself is the best way to know if you're really mastering the material. NBME offers practice assessments like Forms 25 to 31, CMS Forms, and the Free 120. You rule self-assessments are also key. Taking these in the final stages of prep is a great strategy for assessing your readiness. I'll spare you from me droning on about assessments for now. Trust me, we'll get into the nitty-gritty of resources in future videos. Now that you're floating in this galaxy of resources, take a moment to toss aside what you don't need for now. Use these resources at the very least and make sure everything you use truly sticks. Chin up, keep calm, and just follow the drone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.